Hi there, my dear friends out there in YouTube land. Uh, this is Lady Sylvia, and I thought I'd show you some of my treasures from far and wide, and treasures I have uh, collected for a long time and in our travels. And I love fine jewelry, and I love to get a bargain, and so does my husband. So we search all the time for good prices wherever we go. And I do love uh, pearls. They are such an exotic thing. And this is a South Sea pearl. They are the rarest kinds of pearls. They're really, really, really rare and expensive, especially the gold ones like this one. This one is set in a V shape of diamonds. It is a uh, 14 carat and um, I think it's about a 10 to 13. I think it's closer to 13. Anyway, it's a beauty and he got that for me. And he also bought me the matching earrings and bracelet. And the bracelet has diamonds um, in the closure, little small diamonds. And whoops, and the earrings are uh, post back earrings. And aren't they beautiful? I mean, South Sea Pearls, um, you can read about them on YouTube. There are some good videos about how rare they are and how they're harvested. And uh, it is a true treasure to have them. When I went to Tahiti, um, I, I don't suggest you buy it there because of course they have super mega high prices. And um, I bought one black pearl, cost the price of you know, some people get a whole necklace for. Uh, so that was a mistake, but I was not experienced back then. Now this is another beautiful black South Sea Pearls. Let me hold this up a little better so you can see. And black South Sea are not as rare as the golden. They are also expensive, but not as rare as the golden South Sea Pearls. The black come from Tahiti, the golden come from Australia, and from the areas um, near Australia and all the way up towards Japan. And they're, of course, farmed. And it takes many years to grow a pearl this big. These are much bigger than uh, white pearls. And in between each pearl segment along the way are diamond rondelles in 14 carat and then the clasp has little diamonds too oops now this south seas are graded by their coloration their luster these are beautiful luster and these have natural ridges this is all natural to the pearl as it's forming it doesn't mean the pearls are any less. It's just the way they're formed. I think it's beautiful and they are very exotic, but uh, pearls do better when you wear them. So, uh, hey, I wear them with my jeans. I don't care. Um, I think they're absolutely stunning. Most people probably think they're fake, but uh, I, I know they're not. <laughs> and when we went to uh, Hawaii one time, um, I've always loved quilts, and I have some quilts uh, stored away somewhere. In the, I don't know where they are. But I saw this uh, bracelet, enamel in 14 karat gold. I think this was on the island of Kauai. And there's a jeweler there, and if you'll notice, any of you quilters out there, these are Hawaiian quilt patterns. There's the um, breadfruit. Um, this is Bird of Paradise, Plumeria. Um, this is Anthurium, uh, hibiscus, and this is uh, pineapple, and I can't remember what that one was, ginger. Anyway, I thought this was really unique, this bracelet, and these are Hawaiian quilt patterns, and they, you see them also in Tahiti if you visit Tahiti. But they're really beautiful. It's a beautiful, stunning bracelet. I wear it a lot. I really love it. 
and um, let me put this on the mannequin so you can see this piece. This piece is a 14 karat gold piece. It's a, you might have seen this design with um, in sterling silver. This is in 14 karat gold and diamonds. And believe it or not, I went to a pawn shop and it was a place I used to get a lot of jewelry repaired because they have jewelry, jewelry repair there as well. And <clears throat> he told me that they made this custom for a gentleman for his wife and she hated it. And so he had to bring it back. And I just happened to be there that day and I picked it up for a song. I also have this piece somewhere I can't, I, you know, I have jewelry um, that I haven't seen in a while, but I have one where she has nothing, you know, she's 14 karat, there are no stones in her skirt, but she has a big uh, garnet, oh, she's holding a garnet. Um, I have to go find that one. That's stashed somewhere. Um, and then I have this incredible piece. This is white gold. And can you guess what that is? Can you see it? It's a blue diamond. And my husband bought that for me. It's so beautiful. Another treasure that I really love. My husband is very sweet. He's very kind to me. And I wanted to show you this gold locket. I found this at a, um, a show. I just love the engraving on it. Look at the flowers. Even the veil is beautiful. Everything's beautiful about this piece. And then when you open up, there's a tintype. And doesn't he look handsome? This is circa 1860. And uh, he looks like Heathcliff from Wuthering Heights. I just thought that was incredibly beautiful. So I've left it there. I, I think he's just a must have been somebody's Romeo, because he sure is good looking. Young man, poor guy. Who knows if he went to war and died. So it's a beautiful, beautiful locket. And then um, this was another piece I found. Well, the necklace part of it I bought in um, Maui. And I love this kind of chain. I always get compliments when I wear it. This is a diamond cut, uh, 14 karat chain. And then the little piece I found with a diamond in it, I found that actually in a, um, a guy who was just buying scrap gold. And um, he sold that to me for really cheap. And I just think it's very beautiful, all the work on it. Okay. And uh, let me show you this piece here. Take a load of that. This is sapphires and rose-cut diamonds. Doesn't it look like something from the Pirates of the Caribbean? Like a pirate hoard? It has a real old-fashioned look to it. And I happen to have the matching chandelier earrings. And they're absolutely beautiful. And this is like a lavalier, it hangs uh, just below the collarbone. And it is gold over, uh, it has a gold wash over sterling, which a lot of old jewelry had. I just think that's really beautiful. Take another look at that. Really reminds me of, uh, I don't know, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I think it's really pretty. And then, I keep a lot of things in little baggies so that it, they stay clean. Look at this piece. This I wear on a chain. This he bought me several years ago. 
And you notice everything has hearts in it, all the hearts around the, the circle. And then the veil is a heart, all in diamonds and gold. Isn't that beautiful? Beautifully made, just beautifully made. And we're, we're hunters. We always hunt for good bargains and try to find treasure where other people are not looking. And um, I went to an antique show a long time ago with my best friend, Avis. And I found this piece here. This is um, ivory. And she is a Netsuki. Japanese Netsuki. See the holes where they used to, the Japanese um, men used to wear them, put a, um, a ribbon through there and wear it on their side pocket. Look at the carving on the geisha. Isn't she beautiful? And this piece, I can tell you I got it for a song. It was so reasonable. You could not imagine. Of course, you can't sell ivory anymore. You can't, you know, I don't think that guy knew that it was ivory, but it is. And this piece I got the same day. This is a, um, I believe this is carved bone. Carved into flowers. Look how beautiful that is. And I just wear it like that. I loop it around my neck. I'm telling you, I got such a deal that day. I got fabulous deals. And this piece here is, um, this would show better on the white, actually. Hold on. Let me, my arm keeps hitting the aunt lamp there. So this piece is a um, is onyx and fourteen karat gold. Isn't that beautiful? My my stand's kind of wobbly. It's old. I need to replace all these stands. They're getting really old. I use them for so many things. Oh, here's a favorite piece. You know, we love cats. And this piece, the pendant my husband bought me. It is lapis lazuli and uh, 14 karat gold. And you'll notice it's a cat. Look at the carving, it's beautiful. It's probably Chinese. See, it's lapis, see the gold flecks in it? So then I found these lapis beads at a bead show and I strung it with pearls and gold. And I love to wear this with my blue jeans and um, you know, I have a beautiful collared shirt that has embroidery and I wear it with that. But that was a funny memory. He told me that it was sold and then he snuck back inside the store and bought it. <laughs> I was so worried. I was so nervous, like, silly nervous. I thought somebody had gotten it. Oh, and, um, of course, I found this at an old, uh, this was at an old shop. This is emeralds and pearls, and they are real emeralds. It's been tested. This is 18 karat gold, and it is a Buddha sitting on a throne with emeralds. And it's a pin or a pendant. Let me see if I can hold that up for you. So he swings. He's like, bing, 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 bing. Isn't that beautiful? It's a little carved jade Buddha. And then when we were dating, he had bought me this. This is a Kuan Yin. And she's set in 18 karat gold and diamonds. And look at the back. Oh, 
I think she's incredible. And, whew, I love, love, love her. I think that's so incredible. And then I found this piece. Oh, yeah. I remember this. This is, you know, people like pearl jewelry. Well, I found this, and it's not pearl. Looks like pearls. Made like a pearl necklace, but it's not. It's gold. Look at that. It's a gold style pearl necklace. Oh, I think one of those beads is busted. Uh, huh, that's interesting. But isn't it beautiful? I still think it's beautiful. It's 14 karat. And then, let's see what I have here. This is very, uh, this is more of a, this is fine jewelry. This is a modern uh, native Southwestern piece. And um, I'll hold it back like this. This is a beautiful inlay work. Now, this is all onyx, turquoise, um, coral, jasper, all set into this magnificent bear piece. You see the shooting stars and the, you know, the, the, um, the pillars. This is all, um, this is uh, opal, opal and turquoise, green turquoise here, blue turquoise there. Well, look at the way he did that. It's just absolutely stunning. I don't really collect a lot of native. I used to, but I don't collect it anymore. But I thought this was so beautiful. And you can reverse it and wear it this way. And look at the bale. It even has the moons and stars on the opposite side. And this is called a heart line, the line of the soul. All right. Now, well, in this piece I found, this is onyx as well. Now, hold it like that. This is onyx with a little piece of, they inlaid some gold in there, but this is a Kuan Yin as well. And she is um, kind of in the same vein as the Virgin Mary to a lot of Asian people, to the Chinese. Um, she is like a mother figure, a protector. I just think she's absolutely beautiful, the way they did her sort of matte in the back and shiny in the front. She's matte and shiny here. And the beads are all uh, onyx beads. Really, really super beautiful. And I just think that sometimes things are overlooked. People don't understand the value of some things. This is a beautiful garnet. These are all garnet beads. This is from India. You can always tell Indian jewelry because they use these segments. And, and they don't string on, on uh, metal. They string on string. But these are beautiful garnets. And this closure, it's gold, it's gold filled, I believe. That's how they open it, see? You kind of know it's from India, by just by the way it's designed. And this kind of strange closure. Anyway, my friends, I really hope you enjoyed looking at some of these pieces. This is Mastodon Ivory I got in Alaska. Isn't that beautiful? They dig this up in the in the um, in the ice fields, and then they make jewelry. Now this is you can sell this because it's an animal that's been dead millions of years, but it's very very beautiful and I love it. I love roses, as many of you already know. So my friends, I'll close by saying I hope all is well with you out there. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how deeply I thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. 
and um, the kind comments all of you have sent to me. I really deeply appreciate it, and I think you guys are wonderful out there. God bless you all. You guys are great. Thanks. Bye.